Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, some of the most important work on the study of Mayan culture is being done deep underground in submerged caves that have filled with water. These caves, known as cenotes, were used by the Mayans as water sources and sacrificial wells. They were thought to be openings to Cibalba, the Maya underworld. Memo Dayanda, a professor of underwater archaeology at the Universidad de Yucatan, leads an expedition to map and document these treasure troves of the past. Professor Dayanda explains the geologic origins of cenotes. Well, a cenote is, uh, is part of the karst. And as part of this uh, karstic phenomenon, there is uh, flooded caves. There is dry caves and also flooded caves. Yucatan uh, has a lot of them because uh, it's, uh, it's a place that it has uh, been under the influence of uh, a lot of uh, rain through centuries. So uh, there is no rivers here. So the cenotes developed because the limestone uh, surface uh, collapsed in one point and then you have access to the aquifer. And Professor Dianda continues with an explanation of the strange name of these underground caverns. Cenote come from uh, a Mayan word called sonot and uh, cenote it's uh, like a corruption of the word uh, made by the Spaniards when uh, they got here they asked uh, the natives what is that and they said it's a sonot and uh, the Spaniards say well they, they hear the word cenote Jeff Young, a freelance cave diver and member of the expedition explains the beginnings of the cenote explorations Memo was given the dubious task of having to formulate a program here in the Yucatan to teach underwater archaeological techniques. There are almost 2,500 cenotes here that need to be explored, and that's a monumental task. Young goes on to explain the start of his diving with Professor Dayanda. Memo was involved with technical trading at the same time that we were, and we got to be friends, and he invited us to come dive with him here in the Merida area, saying that the cenotes here were very different and that the archaeological um, importance of these cenotes here um, would cause us to have a great deal of interest in diving with them, and he was absolutely correct. The importance of the exploration and documentation of these pristine sites cannot be underestimated. Professor Dayanda explains how the conditions in the cave have been able to preserve the thousands of years of artifacts. Uh, another very important point about exploring cenotes is that everything that is down there it's very well preserved versus uh, what it is on surface. So um, it's a very stable environment. There's water, there's the, the humidity and temperature rate is very even all, all, all time. It's been like that for maybe the last 6,000 years. So Diana Gutierrez Rivera, a graduate student at the Universidad de Yucatan, elaborates on the importance of the artifacts contained in the cenotes. It's a great puzzle. I hope it will help us to unite what we have learned with surface archaeology to that of the aquatic, to understand the meaning of why objects such as pottery and young human sacrifices are there. Not only are the remains of Mayan artifacts apparent in the cenotes, but other artifacts are present. Professor Dayanda explains the significance of these findings. And in all the cenotes, you can see in the submerged areas, a lot of uh, Pleistocene remains. We can see that there used to be mammoths here in this area. Um, mammoths and uh, camels, horses. Gutierrez and Professor Dayanda outline a few possible reasons that the Mayans may have used the cenotes. The reason why young children were chosen for sacrifice is interesting and important to know why. The reason for the sacrifice may have been to preserve the soul of the person who was sacrificed. All the cultural groups that develop here, very early groups, to the Mayan, to modern population, depend on the water of the aquifer. After six days of extreme diving and exploration, the expedition came to an end. The team identified two compelling sites which will need more detailed archaeological examination. 
Professor Dayanda returns to the Universidad de Yucatan to prepare his report to INAH, Mexico's Federal Anthropology and History Institute, to identify more promising sites for in-depth examination. As the expedition team disbands, however, it has agreed to return and continue their explorations into the vast underground world of Mayan cenotes. Thank you.